in a crowded hall You see there's a beauty standing Is she really everywhere or a reflection? One always calls out to you The other shy and quiet Could there be two different girls Who look the same at Sweet Valley Todd, I desperately need your help. Saturday is my mom's birthday. I don't know what to get her. Well, how much do you want to spend? Depends. How much can you loan me? <laughs> Why don't you make her something? Um, well, I would, but you can't top last year's macaroni necklace. <laughs> <laughs> can you cook? You think she'd like toast? I was talking about a homemade birthday cake from scratch. She'd love it. Great idea. Can you have it ready tomorrow by 8 o'clock? Nice try. I'll help you. I don't know. Come on, Winston, we'll have fun. Friday night. Hey, we were supposed to go to the movies. I can see the movie anytime. Why can't he just make her ravioli earrings? Hi, guys. You can sit here. There's, there's room over here. Let's keep it that way. Hey, Jess, you'll never guess who they just transferred to Memorial Hospital. Jeremy Franks, the talk show host? What happened to him? He got in a skiing accident. I love his show. What about his co-host, Sue Nagel? She's spoken. <laughs> I read in the Hollywood Buzz magazine that she's leaving the show. That means Jeremy will be looking for a replacement. That'd be perfect. Why am I not surprised? Jess, you couldn't even host a parasite. Ooh, a three-syllable word. Sis, you've got to get me in to see him. Jess, it's a hospital, not a talent agency. Besides, only hospital personnel and family are allowed in. My family? Yeah, mine. Not his. Forget it. He wants to be left alone. I gotta go. Later. Liz, just think about it. I have. No. People love me. They open up to me. I'm a really good listener. Just... Shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> Danny, I know I have to find another co-host, but I'm in the hospital, for God's sake. I need some peace and quiet, not another box of resumes and tapes. Come on. No, I've heard enough already. The studio is driving me crazy trying to pick a new co-host. Gosh, she must be under a lot of pressure. I don't know how one person can do it all. Would you mind calling the studio and letting them know that? <laughs> I brought you some newspapers. Oh, thanks, Liz, but I just don't have the time. I think you'll want to read this edition. With the works. You remembered? Oh, I swear, Liz, you are heaven sent. You know, I could get in a lot of trouble if they found out. Oh, it'll be gone before they know. Join me for a piece? Thanks, but I've got to finish up some work. If you're back around supper time. I know. Philly cheesesteak. Extra, Extra cheese. cheese. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Peter, I've told you over and over, watch where you're going. I didn't mean it. It was my fault, too. I was going kind of fast. Let's get those instruments picked up. And Liz, see if you can make a dent in filing those patient records. They're behind the nurse's station. Maybe they can put a stoplight in at this intersection. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth. Sorry about that. I hope I didn't get you in trouble. It's OK. I'll just get this stuff cleaned up. OK. It was nice meeting you. Elizabeth. Elizabeth is one of our outstanding volunteers. Any tips for the new group, Liz? Don't nap on the operating table. You might wake up without your kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. All right, group, we'll continue our orientation tour with a visit to pediatrics. Uh, okay. Let's go this way. 
Jess, what are you doing here? <sighs> no pay. Sick people and sensible shoes? How could I resist? <laughs> you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to watch TV. Well, why don't you just grab a spoon and join us? We'll let you lead. Thanks. Just call me when the frosting's ready. Todd, it's a pineapple cake. It doesn't have frosting. You mean I put up with all this and I don't get any frosting? She said, we're sorry, we ain't got no frosting. Sorry does not even come close to you two. Next week, we go into prison and speak with alien transvestite convicts. Oh! While you're there, they had to lock you up for that hairpiece. How does that guy stay on the air? Please, Liz, tell me you don't watch that. Actually, Mr. Franks, I'm not Elizabeth. I'm her twin sister, Jessica. Twins? Really? And you both work here? Well, I'm gonna have to injure myself more often. I know you don't want to be disturbed, but I just wanted to say what a big fan I am. Thanks. I was wondering if I could bother you for an autograph. Oh, why not? <sighs> My resume and measurements are on the back. Don't tell me. You want a chance to be my co-host. I'd be a fantastic entertainment reporter. Gee, don't those words sound familiar? Here. Let me turn on your show. You'll see what I mean. Oh, That's Jessica? Right. Do you want to put the, put the bed back down? Oh, uh, uh, the, the, the leg, the leg, the leg. Oh, ah, oh my God. Ah, ah, what should ah, I do? Push a button. Oh, which one? Any of them. Ah. Jessica! What are you doing in here? Elizabeth, this is your ward. You're responsible for keeping everyone out of this room. I'm sorry. Uh, Jeremy, are you okay? I will be once you get her out of here. I was just oh. trying to help. Well, help yourself down to the geriatric ward. From now on, you're on bedpan duty. Ew. So you let me know about the job? I told you not to bother him. Look, I'm sorry if I got you into trouble. But Jeremy could give me the break to make me a star. Jess, being a candy striper is about helping other people, not helping yourself. Thank you, St. Liz. I'm serious, Jess. Stay off my ward. Is it your shift almost over, Liz? Yeah, I'm going to take off as soon as I finish all that. Did you finish all the final? Not me. Why? Because I'd like to thank whoever did. Hey, Doc, I got this problem with my lips. Think you could check them out? I don't know. Are you insured? clear you were banned from this floor what were you thinking i was just trying to be helpful jessica we're here to heal people not kill them effective immediately your services are no longer needed but i'm a volunteer well from now on volunteer to stay home you're dismissed Sweet too. How's my lovely assistant chef this afternoon? <laughs> Fine. What's up? I just wanted to thank you again for helping me out. Mom's really gonna love the cake. This is for you. <laughs> it's beautiful. Here, put it on. String? 
It's a friendship bracelet. I made it myself. Thanks. Maybe you should go into business, huh? I'll never take it off. Well, I gotta run. I'm gonna interview some clowns. You two seem to be getting along real well. Of course. What's wrong with you? I just don't like the way he's hanging all over you lately. Todd, you can't be jealous of Winston. He's one of my closest friends. A little too close, if you ask me. Dismiss, didn't you understand? I'm not gonna let some uptight nurse stand in the way of my TV career. Can I help it if I'm ambitious? You're not ambitious, you're pathological. Lila, I'm shocked. Are you forgetting the benefits of hanging out with a TV celebrity? What are you talking about? Well, if I become the co-host of Frankly Speaking, I would definitely hire you. For what? To bring you coffee? How does... Lila's house of gossip sound to you. Well, I do have an inquiring mind. You want to know how to get the job? Jeremy's holding an open audition at the hospital. I want you to bring as many girls as possible to try out. Newsflash, Jess. The point of an audition is to eliminate competition. Don't worry. That's exactly what I plan on doing. Hey, you. That was so sweet of you. You really didn't have to. Hey, no problem. All I did was wet my feet on the mat. The roses are beautiful. Roses? Liz, these aren't from me. So you didn't send these after our fight at the Moon Beach? Uh, no. Then who did? Who do you think? I'll do this for you. Oh, thanks, Peter. Sure. I could use the help. You smell pretty. Um, thanks. Oh, Shelby, what do you know about Peter? Hmm, he's been around for years. Keeps to himself, mostly. No one knows too much about him. Yeah, he seems really shy. <laughs> he might seem a little different, but he's harmless. Just admit it. You sent those flowers to Liz. How many times do I have to tell you? I didn't send her anything. I never thought my best friend would lie to me like this. I'm not lying, Todd. You're just so jealous you can't see straight. Jealous? I just want you to admit you have a crush on Liz. For the last time, Liz and I are just good friends. I thought we were too. Oh, it's you, Peter. You scared me. I didn't mean to. Oh, it's okay. Well, I better get going. Good night. Good night, Elizabeth. Wannabes outside. 
just dying to stampede. Shall I let them in? No. Close the door. I don't want them in here. <sighs> but they'll be so disappointed. I hope you're strong enough to defend yourself. Jessica, oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. Look, I'll do anything for you if you just get me out of here. Anything? Huh? So you'll let me go host the show? Absolutely. I promise. Now, do something. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Those crazed wannabes are gone. <laughs> it's unbelievable what some people will do to see you. Thanks, Jess. You saved me. No problem. You can thank me on the show. Look, Jess, be realistic. You're 16. You have no experience. How can you co-host my show? I'm sorry, I just can't risk it. What? After all I've done for you? You promised me that job. You are the most selfish... Mr. Green. Today you get a baboon's heart. Cool. What? I'm not Mr. Green, I'm Jeremy Franks. Tell him, Jessica. Would you like me to help push him down to surgery? Wait, you can't do this to me. I'm a television star. Last week, I thought he was fabulous. <clears throat> Looks like we'll have to check this one in the metal ward, too. <clears throat> Don't worry, dude, you'll be a medical wonder. Man. Your body doesn't reject it. Jessica, please! I promise you can do the show. Just let him tell him who I really am. All right. Listen. This really is Jeremy Frank. There's just been some misunderstanding. Mr. Green is in the elevator going down. Whoa. Close one, dude. Jessica, you are one of the most ruthless, conniving, manipulative people I have ever met. Congratulations. You're the perfect host for my new talk show. He swore he didn't send it. <laughs> then he didn't. Winston went and lied. This whole thing is whacked. Friends do not send friends roses. What's this? Todd! Friendship is not enough. I dream about you, and I love you. It's not signed. It's got to be Winston. Who else could it be, Liz? But it doesn't look like Winston's handwriting. Why are you defending him? You know, I've tried to be cool about this whole I'll thing. I'll take care of Winston. Come on, let's go. Reflection. 